This is a young man that I've been knowing for all of his life. This is a young man that I've been knowing all of his life. I think I am a year older than him. I'm 58. And I think he is right around 56, going on 57. And when we have, this is, this is where I spoke about, when, when we have a great American cleanup through our highway park, he is always there with, um, he's always there with the, the youth, picking up the youth and getting them in line to uh, do duties. And I think that this can be given to a most rewarded person who I'm going to be. I'm going to introduce some and present the other. This is my brother, uh, Michael Callahan. Let's give him a hand. Let's give him a hand. And he says, for, he says, for the dedication towards the development of Highway Park community. Come on, let's, let's show some love to him. very eloquently about what it's like to live in a low-income community, whether it is black or Hispanic or poor whites. It's the very same thing. Poverty does the same thing to everyone. We, the Highway Park Neighborhood Council, are very, very proud that through the efforts of this organization and its president, the person we are about to acknowledge, we have removed 25.6 tons of debris from the Highway Park neighborhood. And that was well worth celebrating. This young man almost single-handedly, and he had some help from the likes of Let Porti and several other people, we can't call everyone, had some help. But he almost single-handedly took care of it because quite frankly, none of us knew about Keep America Beautiful. Not one of us knew about it, but this young man did. And many of you actually went to school with his aunt, Miss Hart. Everybody loves Miss Hart. So you know that he had an excellent influence. So I'm not gonna hold it up, but I just had to take this, the mic to just say thank you and congratulations to Mr. Vincent Hill, the president of Keep Highway Park Beautiful. Without his hard work and dedication, our neighborhood would not look nearly as nice as it is looking now. Vincent Hill, we congratulate you and we thank you for a job well done. Y'all don't mind, let us take a picture or two for posterity. Y'all be patient with us for just a moment. Speech, speech. Thank you, sir. A big hand, please, a very good hand for Vincent Hill. We love you and we appreciate you. This next award is for one of our local heroes, and her name is Evan Porti. Unfortunately, Ms. Porti could not be here this evening, but we'd like to acknowledge her service to Howard Park in, the, um, in that she has worked for Redlands Christian Minor Association for many years, which started in the um, program started in Highlands County was in Howard Park. Um, she been working for them since 1982. Um, currently, she is the area director, I believe is her title, um, but she goes far above and beyond uh, an area coordinator, director. Um, she serves at the Redlands Christian Minor Association's Community Resource Center, and she is there, um, it seems like day and night. Um, and she serves people who need assistance, whether it's with um, uh, unemployment or whatever, she's there and she has made herself available to the community of Howie Park and we'd like to acknowledge our local hero, Miss Evan Portis. There's someone here to acknowledge uh, her. Down. 
on behalf of Ms. Porti, we thank you. Our next local hero um, started something called Neighborhood Mega Festival, Miss Easter Beauty Pageant, back to school basketball, special sports events, children's activities, cookouts, fashion shows, bike shows, the list goes on. Tion Robinson is the one constant behind these activities which were held from Highlands County all the way into Fort Lauderdale. Tion has earned a Bachelor's of Business Management degree from Savannah State College. He returned to Highlands County as a student enrolled in college classes to, I'm sorry, he returned to Highlands County as a student still enrolled in college classes put on these festivals. Tion believes that people working in harmony will spark a passion for progress in all forms of life and will raise lifelong visionaries and leaders in each community. And we would like to honor Tion Robinson as one of our local heroes who works diligently with our, with our children while he's here. He's moved away and we miss him, but we just want to honor him. Tion Robinson. knew that I want to be that change, I want to be that positive impact in the lives of the youth, in the lives of the youth when they don't have much to look forward to. People told me that I should go outside, connect with different people, and then come back and make a difference in my community. But I just, I, I graduated from Savannah State University, and our motto is you can get anywhere from here. So here, Lake Placid, Florida, is where my quest of greatness began. Is where my trials and tribulations, my successes, successes, everything happened. It's where I'm gonna die at. Lake Placid, this is home. You know, I did a lot of things in this community. You know, been humbled enough because I took pride in myself instead of taking pride that is his might and not my will. So I just am thankful for the people in my life, people like my mom who worked three and four jobs to make sure that I made it through this life. People like my dad who dropped jewels in my life to make sure I made it. You know, and I just thank God because he, every tribulation I went through, he either spared me some from suffering or gave me the grace to bear it. And I'm not nothing without God. I'm not nothing without my community. And this is for my community and I thank you. Our next local hero is a young lady that I grew up with, and she has always been a special person in my life. Um, I've helped her on some of her projects. She has a, a passion for the elderly and senior citizens, and this says the elderly and senior citizens should always be appreciated in our communities. They have made valuable contributions to their families and communities. As a Howie Park community leader, along with several volunteers who assisted me in each event, gratitude, honor, and appreciation were expressed to our elderly and senior citizens through the following events. She hosted a Howie Park Senior Appreciation Day under the tent. It was a two-day event. She, gave, she served breakfast, um, Sunday barbecue chicken dinner and at, Martin Luther King, at the Martin Luther King Jr. Park grounds. Uh, she also hosted a Howie Park Senior Citizen Thanksgiving dinner at Action Revival Worship Center. She hosted a Howie Park Senior Citizen's Valentine breakfast at New Life Assembly Fellowship Building under Bishop W.C. Holden and at Action Revival was under Bishop Cal Major Callahan. Um, she has served our seniors with such passion, such love, such respect, and such commitment. And for that, we want to honor Ms. Phyllis Callahan as one of our local heroes. Her brother, Teddy Callahan, will accept on her behalf. Thank you so much. Okay, as 
my turn again. My turn at the mic. We were talking, you heard uh, the young man, Tian Robinson, talk about what it's like to grow up in our community and how he left the community to come back and to give back to the community. Well, we are very, very proud of a young group of young people. They have formed a football league. And we know that for black folks, we love sports. We know that. We love music. We love those kinds of things. We thought that in order to encourage our youth to continue, because when you're part of organized sports, that's discipline. That's following rules. And those are the things that we need to do in our community. As you can see, we have a plaque for a football that says, the Lake Placid Youth Football League. So do we have anyone here that is from that group? Lake Placid Football. Ivory Williams is here representing the Lake Placid Youth Football League. Ivory, you will notice that it is empty. The reason it is empty, and you can see Lake Placid Youth Football League. What you want, we want you guys to do is win, and then when you get the winning football, have everybody sign it, and this is for posterity for that team. Congratulations, y'all, well done. Real quick, I'd like to say, first of all, uh, first for God being my personal savior, being in my life, uh, here we go with this. All right, hold on. Let it out, Doc. 2008, when I first joined in this league, uh, I served as commissioner of the Youth Football League. Uh, at that time, you know, I'm a sports fan, you know, like a lot of other guys, we love football, you know. I wasn't a big basketball boy, but I love football. But my aim wasn't to win championships or you know, you know, I wanted to win, true enough, but I, I really miss, you know, I, I, can, I, can, I can recall when I used to stay on, I think it's Washington Street, Mama, who is still on Washington Street, and we used to go out to the schoolhouse every day after school, after we fit washing dishes and stuff like that. <laughs> but I can remember us playing, you know, when we didn't have football, we, we played with the Canes, and other various things and used to get whoopers to come home because our clothes be all tore all up, you know, for playing football. But my my aim was to to join not to for, for wins and for losses, but to really help these young kids find an avenue, find a way to get off the streets, find a way to get off drugs, Amen. find a way to not steal, find a way to not commit adultery, find a way to be true to your parents. Find something to do. First of all, see God in your life. And, and, and it, it, it didn't, you know, over these course of years, we, we won, you know, I like Coach Tim is, is here. Where is he here? Coach Tim here? I'd like to have him to stand, please. This is our new commissioner, Tim Hall. Did you get to see him across here? Raise his hand. Over these past eight years, these young men and young ladies have done an excellent job. Uh, we've won eight division championships. We've won one conference championship. We've earned one trip to the Super Bowl. And last year, we were one win away from going back to back. So these kids have done excellent jobs. You know, they're, they're trying. And all we ask for people in Lake Placid, Seaver, and Avon Park, do what we have to do to get these kids off the streets, because I can be the first to tell you, my mama sitting right there, my wife sitting right there, my sister, my brother-in-law, they can be the first to tell you, I stayed in jail. I'm here to tell you, my pastor sitting right there, am I lying, pastor? <laughs> I stayed in trouble. I'm not ashamed to tell y'all. I'm not ashamed. I, I don't regret a day I got in trouble, I'm going to be honest with you, because it made me the man I am today. And I thank everyone who's a part of giving me this award. I thank you. I, thank you. I love people like T.R. Yeah? T.R., I love you, man. Wherever you at, I love you. Keep doing what you're doing. And we, we, need, we need to hook up and, and, and do something. You know, you know what I'm talking about. But I thank y'all. God bless y'all. Thank y'all. Last but not least, we have Mr. Jeff Hall. 
but not least, we would like to honor another one of our local heroes. And this lady pretty much single-handedly runs an after-school program in Howie Park called the STAR Program. And she has run this program since, I believe it's 1993 when it first started. Over the years, she has lost funding. The grants have dried up, but Ms. Teresa Williams continues to show up every day at the Star Center. <laughs> Ms. Williams says she understands the demands of raising children alone, herself being a single parent. Children and caring parents need an advocate, and Mrs. Williams has been that advocate for those children, for the children in Highway Park for many, many years. Many parents, many working parents cannot uh, afford daycare, they can't afford after school care. So Ms. Williams has taken it upon herself to provide that service. She runs the Star Center uh, with, like I said, pretty much no budget other than donations and fundraisers that she does on her own. And because of that, she has kept the doors open and the children of Highway Park are much better for it. So we'd like to honor our local hero, Ms. Teresa Williams of the Star Center. I'm gonna ask her sister, either Helen or Juanita. Helen, would you please come up and accept this award on Teresa's behalf? Juanita, either one of you, both of you. These are Teresa's oldest, older sisters, and they have supported her uh, through their wonderful cooking and baking when she does fundraisers. And we're so appreciative of all that you all do to help your sister Teresa Williams and the community of Highway Park. This award is for you all too.